The Ghost Whisperer, Season 1, Episode 5. Here we go. Alright, so <coughs> Melinda with her antique shop has been hired to auction off uh, the items that is located in this old inn. That inn used to serve as an orphanage for boys, yes. Uh, sure, uh, even the spirits of dogs can be ghosts, yes. Okay. Alright, so they're not alone in the basement. There's a dog and a little boy. And who's rat? You'll find out. <laughs> and he has attitude. Follow me. All right, they're in the from the basement. Now they're out in the attic. You come here, woman. Come here. It's me. We got ourselves a problem here, lady. Let's try names. I'm Melinda. He's right. I'm Marty. All right. <clears throat> so if you didn't notice, they're covered in covered in so soot. Yes. And Vic is hiding somewhere. That's what he does. Who dialed your number? Sorry, Red. How come you could see us? Um. It's a gift I have. I was born with it. Some gift. And what makes you think you could just walk out of here with our stuff? Well, it's not really your stuff. <sighs> Good boys have been there for over 50 years, so they feel, they f feel that it is their stuff belongs to Mr. Abrams and he hired us to auction it off for him. Now, do you boys understand why? Do you do you know We know we're dead. <laughs> Lady, we ain't stupid. We are? Shut up! <gasps> Look, we don't want no action. <sighs> auction. Whatever. This is our house. This is where we live, and that's our furniture, and we want it back. Now, from long. Okay. You know what? Let me explain something to you. <laughs> okay. So auction, but he said action. That is true. They have uh, spent a lot of energy talking, so they mispronounce a lot of words. Do I really need to call him Rat? <laughs> So, uh, even myself, when I <coughs> when I st uh, talk to some spirits, uh, again, earthbound spirits are confused. Some of them don't realize that they are dead. They're like, wait, what happened? Yeah, I know. I mean, we never get hungry. We never sleep. Really? And nobody can see us. You. It's gotta be dead. Wow. You are very smart. Yeah. 
but I'm afraid of the dark. Oh. <laughs> um, I, I don't think that you're afraid of the dark. You're afraid what's hidden in the dark. Your imagination uh, goes wild. Me too. Will you spend the night with us? What? Oh. Sweetie, I don't think I can. I have to go home. Do you ever leave the inn? No. Nope. Rat says our feet will catch fire. Why would he say that? He's real smart about that kind of stuff. What did you say your name was again? <laughs> Beck. Nobody stays no more. <sighs> yeah, so tear it down, right? Please just leave. I heard what you said last night. Whoa, what are you talking about? Old man Abrams tells the fire story all the time. Yeah, so obviously I edited certain parts out. Human to human conversations I cut out. I always wanted to have at least one spirit in the scene. You don't know the most important part. What's the most important part? I know the way, all right. I always knew what to do. <laughs> Alright, so there was a big fire decades ago. That's why they followed me. With all the smoke and everything, we got separated. And then he went back. Back upstairs, I heard him yelling. Except this one time. One night. Yep. The doors were locked. Who knows why? New janitor, new rule. I never knew. Look down at the guys. See, they were scared. Mm -hmm. Sit down, Jen. We gotta find our way out. Come on. I never saw her any again. And that's how they uh, passed away. It was my fault. I got them all killed. It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. You were trying to help them get out. How could you know that those doors would be locked? They trusted me. I let them down. That is not true. <sighs> they still love you, don't they? Most of the time they do. That's because you're a family, Rad. You're Peter, and they're the Lost Boys, and they need you. <laughs> Using Peter Pan. Okay. That's why I keep them together. Make sure nothing happens to them. You can come in, boys. <laughs> Heard everything. It's time for you to move on. You can't stay here forever. We don't know anything, but... Alright, so th that is one of her jobs. <clears throat> to talk to the spirits, try to convince them to cross over. Yeah. Did 
Did you see the bulldozer out front? They're gonna tear this place down. And you just have to trust me that there's a better place. There's nothing. Nothing to be afraid of. You think they want us at the place she's talking about? Nobody wants us. This is the only place we know we're... Alright, so he's confused. All of a sudden he knows that crossing over is a bad place. See, that's why we stay together. Look, I tell you what. Just come outside with me for one day. Let me prove to you that, that you can be safe. <laughs> you know, somewhere other than here. Sounds okay. Don't you think, Red? If you want your feet to burn, go ahead. No matter what she says, I ain't going nowhere. This isn't about old beat up furniture, is it, Red? So, another good edit, and I uh, went straight for a talk with Rhett. There's something I gotta ask you. What is it? And you can't lie to me either. I gotta know the truth. Grumps always lie. I promise. Am I gonna see my brother Mike again? If he's crossed over, sure, but if he has already reincarnated, no way. Will he be there? Oh. Yes, Rat. Your brother will be right there waiting for you. Yes, we do get reincarnated by choice. Said I'd see him again. Family took him. Not me. <laughs> wow. They lie. It's the truth this time, I promise. And Marty and Vic, they'll come. They're your family. You all be together. That is the owner of the building. He's tearing it down. But he uh, plays a bigger part in the story. I think I might just bid on this piece. You <laughs> should have made it part of the deal with Abrams. You're Ernie, aren't you? So he was that missing kid. Um, there was a group of four kids, but the three didn't make it out. The last one, Ernie. Ernie did. You gotta tell him. What if I told you that Rat was still here? The boys are still here. I don't understand. They're not dead. They are dead. But their spirits, well, they were afraid to move on. That can't be. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Most people don't. Tell them. It's still there. Where he hid it. It's still there. What is it? Uh, he says that it's still there. Where you hit it. <laughs> Playboy magazines stuffed in the rafters. Sure.
must be a dream. Rat! <laughs> is that you? Tell him to use his indoor voice. We ain't deaf. Um, he says for you to use your indoor voice. We ain't deaf. Son of a... It is Rat. Tell him Homer's here. You got your teeth fixed. You're really getting old, Ernie. <laughs> hey, one at a time. Okay. One at a time. <laughs> okay. Vic wants you to know that Homer's here. Marty thinks you're getting old, and Rat says your teeth are fixed. No cavities. <laughs> right in front of you. You were the brave one, Rat. You were trying to save us. You always knew the right thing to do. I can't tell you how many times when I was out on the road and I'd think back on all the things you taught me, not book things, like how to survive, mm -hmm. then laugh at yourself. And I'm still always thinking, what would Rat do if he was here? So full of it, Ernie, it's coming out of your ears. He wants to know if you really think that. Yes, I do. <laughs> I would give all the money I have in the world to see you one more time. All of you. You ain't gonna make me cry, Ernie. He's crying. Don't tell him that. Tell him that. You can tear down the end if he wants. We're gone. Rat says they're leaving. Where are they going? Better place. a new adventure. Bye, pal. Well, not, I, I, there's not much to add. <laughs> uh. And we're clean, yes. Handsome. I'm telling everybody. So uh, they're about to cross over. Uh, whatever uh, was left undone is done, and it's time to go. Goodbye, Wendy. Goodbye, Peter. All right. So all he needed was some convincing. Look, you can cross over. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. So well. Maybe they had to see Ernie. Yeah, so they were missing Ernie this whole time. We, where is he? We, we left him behind. I'm come to find out he survived the fire and he is destroying the old orphanage. Yeah, so. Alright. Ah. <sighs>
I will get this settled up. I will post it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.